guys. Oh my god, the world has finally crumbled. We have fallen to our knees. We are dying as a civilization. A couple weeks ago, maybe a month or two ago now, not sure if you remember in America, they had a some sort of hearing regarding UFOs, aliens. There were some very reputable people there in the UFO community. You know, some proper grafters who were putting the work and trying to find these bad boys and see where they're lurking. Speaking to people, find it like Bob Lazar, finding out what they know, what they've seen, seeing if it's true. But today we've hit an all new low, ladies and gentlemen. I, I, my personal opinion, I think there's got to be aliens somewhere. The world is, the world, the universe is far too great, far too expansive for us selfish individual humans just to be living on it. I promise you, they are flying above us, probably living among us. You know, like that Marvel shit, them green guys who turn into like humans. I would not be surprised if I'm one and I've just been controlled. I am not from here. This is why I am a weirdo. But anyway, uh, enough of enough of talking to that shit man but look mexico mexican i can't speak today mexican congress holds hearing on ufo featuring purport purport i'm not sure what that word means purported purported alien bodies now what i'm about to uh, i'll show you the video in full but just so you can get a gander of what they look like what the fuck is that my god that ain't an alien it's the size of my fist aliens are like big long full of you know guns and bazookas and things that will turn you into ash so yeah someone probably who you know spent years of time at university getting really clever and you know studying things that are important he said i can affirm that these bodies have no relation to human beings yeah, cheers Mr. Clever Clogs. Look at the dude's face. Like, what is this thing? Look at him. It looks like they, they modelled it off E.T. That's what it looks like. It looks disgusting. It looks like it's pouting. It looks like when it's one of them girls, you know, taking herself like, mm, cha-ching. That sort of shit. Of course it's not related to humans. What a dumb thing to say. Can't make any conclusions. But look, let's play the video for you. I mean, just look at the size of that thing. It is tiny. I mean, and a fucking alien. What a joke. How can Mexico look at that and tell me that's an alien? It looks like a bloody stick. A stick with legs. Why does its head look like a bloody cheese grater as well? It's absolutely minuscule. Its pelvis is rocking like Elvis. It's wide as bloody art. Like, you know, look at its breast. It's got breasts. It's got breasts, man. I mean, on closer inspection, look at it. It's got a wog eye. It's pouting like it's taking a selfie. It's got three fingers ready to probe you. And it's, it's fucking hips look out of place. I mean, whoever's made that has made a really poor job as well. No way is that an alien. I, I'm caught. I'm smelling it. I'm calling it. That is some bologna pepperoni. That shit stinks like a cow on laxatives. It is not good. Es la primera vez que se presenta de tal forma y creo que hay una demostración clara de que nos encontramos ante ejemplares no humanos. Yeah, cheers, mate. I don't speak a mexicano. Recognizing the need for action and answers, I founded Americans for Safe Aerospace. We believe that UAP represent an urgent priority for both aerospace safety and scientific inquiry. Our focus is on improving public education of UAP, breaking stigma, and working towards better transparency and disclosure. I'm proud This guy's about to get hit. Look out for yourself, homeboy. You're going out against the government, mate. Not even the pri prime minister, the pri not even the presidents know everything, mate. The top dogs, the people who run the country, you know, the, per the puppeteers, the ones pulling behind the shadows. They're going to come for you, my friend. I'm honored that more than 10,000 people have joined in our mission at safeaerospace.org. Anyone can join. Anyone can join our cult. It's all about aliens, finding aliens, maybe having uh, relationships with aliens. I bet this dude, like, watches, like, you know, weird Star Wars videos. You know, the ones you've seen. You you know what I'm talking about. The ones that are always online and they have, like, 20 big bazongas and, you know, mad... Well, I'm not even going to say that. Sorry, buddy, I, d I don't know what you're saying. I mean, we're back here again. Just look at that. Look at his face. Do you think that is something real? Do you actually believe that this dude right here is an alien from outer space? Now, what I'm thinking is, if this dude is that small, he's got to have some real firepower to make up for it. You know, you get them mini, like, them, you know, what I would call midget men. You know, they're proper small, but they've got, like, biceps 
the size of Afghanistan. You know, they're buff. They're really short, so it doesn't quite. They does doesn't work for them. So they're clearly making up for something in the lower regions. You know, you, you know, they get, you know, we've all met them. We all know them. There's nothing wrong with being short, by the way. The problem is when you try and make up for it in other places. Making your biceps and triceps bigger doesn't mean anything, mate. I'm still gonna drop kick you to outer space. Imagine what sort of firepower a creature the size of your ankle is gonna need in order to take over the world. It's gotta have some ray guns, some thunder guns, maybe the Vandervar for you know. It's got to have some serious firepower. Something that transport, you know, like a grenade or something. He throws it and he trans teleports over there and shit. And maybe a spaceship was like the size of the Death Star and goes around blowing up planets. Because I tell you now, if that guy pulled up to my lawn, all right, standing there with this ready, about to fight, I would be very happy. Because I know I'm about to stand on this guy like an ant. I'm going to break this guy's face so quickly, it would actually be fun. And again, maybe they come in peace. But the problem if they come in peace, why is he dead on our planet? You know, if they do come in peace and they come and land and they go, yo, what's up, homeboys? Give us an old fist bumps and then we show them what we've got. It's like, that's Uncle Timmy. They killed Uncle Timmy. You'd be like, what? Who's Uncle Timmy? What have what we done? You know, you'd be a little bit confuzzled about it. And I, I you know, I, 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 I said earlier, I do believe in aliens, but I don't believe aliens like that I think if there were aliens like that they wouldn't be able to you know fly they won't be able to get a UFO and maybe I'm wrong maybe I'm wrong maybe you know sight being small is the best way aerodynamic nice and fluid fluid in your movements guns bazookas that's what they do you know you just imagine turning them up so they're getting like um like an armor you know like in halo or something but they're just midget so the midgets and the armor make them look like really long and strong and comes with like an you know an, an internal bazooka attached to your forearm he's got <laughs> And they just blow up planets for fun. Maybe that's it. But I want to know how they got them. Did an alien crash here? And they took him out and froze him? Like, why does it look like that? It looks like it's been here since the dinosaurs. I mean, it's not... It doesn't look like the most prettiest of individuals, you know. And it's got no... Uh, it's got no penis. It had no penis. Did you know? I mean, I was my eyes weren't drawn there. I just noticed there was no schlong. There was no schlong. And again, may, maybe they just don't do it. Maybe they look at each other and when you find that one person, they make eye contact and they both just get pregnant. I don't know. I don't know how it works. However, all I do know is that motherfucker ain't real. That shit. I want to know what he came with. I, I obviously wouldn't show us everything, but if they found them, I guarantee it had some mad guns or some mad weapons and it was just sat there chilling with them like, yeah, I might have crashed landed here and died but i give you this and it's got like a teleport gun you know like rick and morty style something like that so it's said to be between 700 and 1800 years old that's incredible an elongated head with three fingers we are left with farts and, and cons imagine being the sergio bloke you're a federal representative you work for the government and you've got to believe that is real look at the size of it it's tiny but anyway you guys let me know what you think i really really want to hear you guys thoughts i mean i i woke up to this yesterday um i i I just popped up and I saw it and I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Could not believe that th I am meant to believe that this bloke right here is a real alien from outer space. It, people are smoking crack. I'm, I'm convinced the government smoke crack. Or maybe sniff glue. Sniffing glue is probably more appropriate.